In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with cover four quarters from the bunch tight end. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the channel is about, the channel is all about becoming a better Madden player. I'm trying to get better at this game every single day, and I'm trying to share what I learn with you guys. I study pro players. I study myself. I study players that I learn and lab with and feel like we give out some very, very good tips. And so if you want to get better, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. No, um, you know, no real commitment other than you're going to be able to know whenever we release new videos. All right, guys, so I wanted to share this with you. This is a way to deal with cover four quarters from bunch tight end. Bunch tight end, in my opinion, is the best offense in the entire game. I just released um, an offensive ebook on it um, a couple of weeks ago now, and it is kill. It is a killer, killer, killer offense. It's really, really, really good. And so, what I wanted to do today is talk a little bit about one of the defenses that I think that you'll start to see pop up more in the community. I've been talking about this defense for about a month now. And that is uh, cover four quarters. Now, this is in our 335 wide defensive ebook, but basically, what we do is it's cover four quarters. That's what it is. So, the play that we're going to talk about today is the play curl flat corner. Now, the play curl flat corner is probably next. I mean, it's, I have so many favorite plays right now tight end corner, PA cross, curl flat corner. Those three are really, really good. Inside switch is really good, too. But, anyways. What I want to talk about today is this is kind of people's strategy for stopping bunch tight end. Because against bunch, the outside quarter will play the corner route. I'll show you what I mean. So if I run a corner route to Vada Scantling, I want you to watch the corner on the left side. Outside quarter should play it. As you see here, he matches him up, takes the ball away. As you can see, great defense. So a great defensive call. Now, most people think that cover four quarters will stop the next route combination that I'm going to tell you about. And it actually will, as long as you do it a very special way. So this is cover four quarters. The curl flat corner is, this quarter route is probably the best route in Madden 21. Um, it, it probably is the best route in Madden 21. It's really good from pretty much any formation that you run it from. This route is really good. Okay, that gets really, really good. Okay, so what people do is they smart route it, they streak Tavon Austin, and then this outside receiver they can do all kinds of stuff. Now, if you watch, watch this outside corner on Devontae Adams right now. Okay, in theory, it should stop it. So you see here, he sits back on this route, you can't throw it, it's a pick, right? It's a book. This is the strategy that most people will use to defend that route. Okay, 100%, you can book it, guaranteed, they will try to defend it like that. Okay, what I want to do today is I want to share with you a little, a little tip that will open that route up and make it darn near impossible to stop. Okay, so I hope you're excited to dive in, and if you would like to get a free sample to the ebook that I'm talking about, the Bunch Tight End Offense, um, I have a one-hour video in my text message membership, which is completely free for you to sign up for, um, and it's the bunch tight end sample. So if you want to get that, that's in the it's that's my number's in the top left hand corner. So um, okay, so cover four quarters. I just want to talk about this real quick. So basically, what this is is it's a match defense. Now, one of the rules of match defense is they match vertical routes. So if if a player goes vertical, that means they they match it. Now, what a vertical means, and, and I, I hope I'm I hope I'm quoting AntCap properly here, but I'm pretty sure because I, I love AntCap's work and I think he does an incredible job, um, and just has such he has taught me so much about the about coverages this year even. But vertical routes meaning that they're going to go about five yards or more. So an out route, for example, is technically a vertical route because it's five yards. It's a five-yard route, and then he cuts, okay? So the way the match defense plays, out routes pretty much take care of it. Now, what most people do is this, and I don't know if this will work or not, but this is what most people will do. This is the setup right here. Let's say they do. I don't know what they'll do. The backside, they'll do whatever. 
this is pretty much set. They put Valdez on an out route. Streak Austin, smart route uh, Adams. Now I want you to watch cover four. This is just cover four quarters. I want you just to watch the left side corner here. So I put him on out route. And as you can see here, the quarter flat takes the out route. That's what people do. That's what people do. Okay. So I'm going to share with you a little tip that I think I don't see hardly anyone doing this. But to me, it is huge. It is a monumental tip. All you're going to do, so cover four quarters. Now, all I'm going to do is instead of snapping the ball with the receiver right here, I'm going to motion him to the left. That's it. Motion him to the left. I'll watch what happens. Now he matches, and now that route's wide open to Devontae Adams. Now the inside quarter has him man-to-man. -man. One simple adjustment changes the entire complexity of the defense. And I'm pretty sure that this is specific to bunch tight end. It might not be, but I'm pretty sure this is specific to bunch tight end. So when you motion this guy, every single time this quarterback will take him. Every time. Every time he'll take him. Now you can use Gunslinger to basically open that route up to Devontae Adams. So now, cover four quarters. Can't stop what it's supposed to stop. And even more, even more over... A lot of people like to do this adjustment out of cover four quarters. I mean, you will almost universally see this. You will see this right here. You'll see a deep half here. And I would say you'll probably see Amos manned up on, on, on Adams. Now, remember, Adams has route tech, so it doesn't really matter in this scenario. But if you, you know, you might see him manned up on somebody else. But anyways, watch the deep half adjustment. Deep half adjustment. You motion him out. Snap. Look at this right here. That is wide open. That is wide open. That is so wide open. It, you could you could literally just lob the ball to him. That's how good that route is. It's one little adjustment, fellas. One little adjustment. You're just motioning him out. That's all you're doing. Now, what you might be saying is, well, what about cover four? You know, and that's actually a good question. So cover four, and I want you to watch cover four. This is cover four drop, not quarters, drop. There's a very big difference. This means that the zones are, are dropping to a specific spot on the field, okay? So just watch how this works. Now he's not going to take him. Now he's going to drop back, but now look. Now you can pass lead it outside to the left. So cover four can't stop it. Cover four quarters can't stop it. Cover two can't stop it. Let's try cover three. Okay, so here's cover three. This is cover three match, um, a zone blitz style. And the same thing is going to be, you're going to see I'm going to do the same thing. So, uh, curl flat corner. Now, cover three can give this a little bit of issues, but watch this right here. Motion out. And as you can see, same thing. That cover three zone drops because of the motion. It doesn't match. It drops. The motion out route opens everything up from a bunch formation. I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to get good at the motioned out out route. Let me show you another example. Let me show you something that I face a ton in Madden right now. And that is Mabel coverage. Right? You might have you might have heard of this. When you're to the wide side of the field, okay, and it is kind of important that you're to the wide side. Watch Valdez Scantling here. Corner drops back immediately. I can throw that out route quick, and that's a quick five yards. I did this all weekend long in the Madden Classic. That out route creates so many issues for somebody. So all I'm trying to get you to see is that when you use an out route against quarters, it takes that outside guy away. And then it forces the inside safety, who is inside leverage, okay, to have to deal with with an outside breaking pattern, which is darn near impossible, especially when the person running it is Devontae Adams. So if you want to beat cover four quarters consistently, you're not just trying to bomb it. You're trying to really beat it consistently. In my opinion, this is one of the easiest ways to do that. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can always hit me up via text message. And also, if you want to get the Bunch Tight End Offensive eBook, that link is available for you in the description. If you want to get a free sample, that's in my text message memberships. And if you have any questions, again, just hit me up via text message. We will see you tonight on stream at 10 p.m. Eastern Time.